On a related note, be careful when you're saving changes to a portfolio because what you see on your screen when you save the changes is exactly what you're going to get back the next time you open the portfolio. I'll show you an example of what I mean. I open my Forex portfolio and this portfolio consists of a chart for every one of the Forex markets, every one that Vantage Point makes predictions for. Now I go to Window and close all tabs. This closes all the charts. I now have an empty, a blank portfolio. I select Portfolio on the main menu and then close on the drop down menu. Now, as you saw before, if I click Yes, this will close the portfolio and save these changes. So, what will happen is the next time I open the Forex portfolio, it will be blank. If I don't want that to happen, I click No, and this closes the Forex portfolio but does not save the changes. I can open this portfolio, and as you can see, it is again opening up all the charts that were in there previously. There's one more option, Window, and I can close all the tabs again, Portfolio, Close, and in this case I'll select Cancel. Now Cancel returns me back to the portfolio so that I can review the changes that I made. I can either decide if I want to keep these changes or not. After making my review, I can select Portfolio, Close, and then I can select Yes to save the changes or No to undo the changes. I want to show you one more important thing about saving changes to a portfolio. To illustrate, I opened the Forex portfolio and then closed all the open tabs. You can see I have a blank portfolio. Now I click Portfolio in the main menu and instead of clicking Close, I could also click Save, but I'm not going to do that yet because it's very important for me to tell you that when you click Save, you do not get the chance to review your changes. That is, Vantage Point does not show you a message and asks if you really want to save the changes, giving you the opportunity to click Yes, No, or Cancel. When you click Save on this menu, Vantage Point saves the changes without prompting and keeps the portfolio open. So you want to be sure that you really want to save these changes. I click Save, Portfolio, Close. And then I will reopen the Forex portfolio. And as you can see, I don't get the charts that I had previously. My portfolio is empty. It's blank. So I think it's very important to keep in mind before you save that you know that what you see on your screen in Vantage Point is what it's going to save. And that's what it's going to present to you the next time you open the portfolio with the save changes. Here are just a few ideas for using portfolios. Group together charts from main markets and related markets into a single portfolio. This is pretty much the example that I showed you earlier in this tutorial. Separate large categories into multiple smaller portfolios. For example, the technology stock category is quite large. You could consider breaking this category into smaller portfolios such as technology stocks A to C, technology stocks D to F, etc. Or create a portfolio consisting of markets that you are actively trading or monitoring and then update the selection in the portfolio as needed. Thank you for watching this tutorial on portfolios. Please visit the Market Technologies Learning Center for additional tutorials.